Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube video here with Earthworks where we are gonna do a complete makeover. We've got an awesome project here in store for you guys. Uh, new homeowners have just moved into a Queens Harbor neighborhood here in Jacksonville, Florida. They're gonna modernize it. So you can kind of see with some of the fixtures they've got in their house now um, that they are a little bit more clean contemporary and the yard just does not fit. Well, number one, it's, it's missing a lot of material. That's because the homeowners took it out. But we're gonna go ahead and give this thing a complete facelift. Give us about a week and this thing's gonna look hot. We're gonna be taking down the bottle brush. I absolutely love weeping bottle brushes, but it doesn't fit in with this theme. It's a little too, uh, a little too froofy. So we're gonna take out the bottle brush. We're taking out crepe myrtles. We got all of this vegetation that's coming out. We're redoing the bed lines, getting a little bit more clean, straight line. And just like I said, giving this place a facelift. So come on out and check out the backyard. I'll show you that as well. So amongst doing the driveway, they're gonna rip out, rip out this driveway, put an all brand new paver driveway in. They're also gonna have a walkway right here down the right side of the house that leads them back to what's gonna be an awesome backyard project. So the backyard project's gonna have a walkway that turns around, comes right into here, and starting about this point here, this is gonna be one big patio slash pergola slash outdoor kitchen area, which I think is gonna be totally usable and functional that has a then patio that comes off the backside here that's gonna be a big seating area with a fire pit. And if you look and pan to your right side, you'll see what their view is, which is awesome water space. So it is currently like Friday around 3.30. I'd love to be in this backyard just chilling out for the rest of the weekend. So we're about to go ahead, like I said, modernize it. You can see there's a lot of empty space out here. That's because when the homeowners moved in, they did some clearing of their own um, in preparation knowing that we're coming out. So it's gonna be another great, great transformation one. You guys have seen the opening. You guys have seen some of this progress going on. You'll notice I'm wearing a sweatshirt. I'm pretty sure when we first started this was about probably three to four months ago. I just wanted to talk about how amazing the vision of Jamie Kahn's look for this home turned out to be. When I first saw it, it was just a red brick home and she saw something completely different. Her and her husband saw this. They saw this as being a much more contemporary home and I think they've achieved that. So they went ahead and they painted. They put all brand new shutters on the house. So now they've gotten this very clean look we're just the icing on the top. So we did our best. And in a lot of situations, you guys out there that are more on the contemporary side, I hope this video helps seeing some of this and then you guys can pick our brains. That's, that's exactly what we're here for. But we ran into a couple complications with what the homeowner wants to do and what the HOA allows. So the HOA out here allows, doesn't allow as much flexibility. They want a very native look. Um, and that's actually a cool thing. I love that. It's a cool concept. So you just got to get creative with it. So you notice a lot of things, um, for instance, the back row of hedges that run across the entire front of the house. It's very continuous, the same plant that runs across, same look. We want that eventually to be the foundation plant. So everything that's in front of it pops from that green. Because anything with landscaping, the white house looks amazing, but with anything landscaping can get lost against that white house. So now we have this green canvas of plants, which are called Walter's Viburnum. And the Walter's Viburnum are a native here in Florida. They will also bloom white, um, but they're mainly used for their, we're gonna make them into a hedge. Okay, so that, that way everything else that's put in front of it gives you a pop. So if you guys are out there and you guys have um, HOA restrictions or city restrictions, there's kind of a way to compromise, almost always. And, and the way we did with this is we took something that was a native, used it as our foundation plant that we don't care as much about, we need it, but we just need something that's gonna be a dark green color so that everything else we put in front of it can pop. So we need about, I think it was 30 to 50% native. So we went very heavy with that, allowing us to be a little more creative with things like the foxtail ferns. The Coryops is actually native. That was actually a fun one, this flower in the front here. But the point is, as we came in, this place used to be big holly trees, weird shaped beds, um, very free flowing beds. And we came in and kind of squared them off. So we got much more of a straight look here, comes around. We try to get a straight look in the front and just give it a clean look. Now, what's, a, what, what's an accent to all that is what we're walking on. So when you come out and you see that we've got these awesome glacier pavers here, mega old town, big circular driveway, this pops. Um, this white and gray color really pops with the house. All right, so you guys will notice sometimes, so we have, um, I think it's uh, construction specialists out here, specialties. So these guys are actually the ones doing the uh, pergola. Yeah, you 
the no, no, you're good, man. I'm just giving you credit on our video. Oh, perfect. Yeah. So you'll see in a second, these guys did the uh, pergola in the back, um, outdoor kitchen. You'll see all that, which tied in. It was like one comprehensive project that we worked on with Jamie. A lot of times you get um, one or the other. So if you pick multiple contractors, sometimes you run into situations where you got one contractor that's booked out really far and we had an opening we can get done early. Well, what we did to kind of help out because they had just moved into this home, give them a little bit of a homey feel by doing, we did the front yard. So we went ahead and ripped out everything in the front yard. They still had their existing concrete driveway and we put all new landscaping in. But what comes from that sometimes is some double work here and there. So you can notice, and it's nothing along the, the paver guys that did the driveway. They did an amazing job, but you kind of have to break some eggs to make an omelet. And so you'll see kind of some mess from the crush crete that's in the beds. So we just have to come in. That's what Nick's gonna be. You'll see him in a little bit. Nick's here on the final day, we're wrapping up and that's what he's doing. He's coming in and kind of taking some of that out giving it a fresh look. And we kind of know that if we're gonna do phase one, phase two type thing. Ideally, you wanna come in, do all your hardscapes first, then you wanna go ahead and do your irrigation, then landscaping. We did this one a little backwards, which is fine. So here's a driveway, comes right off into a squared off walkway that goes straight to the backyard. We did a nice gravel patch here on the left side. This is gonna be a very clean look along here. They're not gonna use this hardly. So if they ever have trash cans or random things, they were at the beach that day and they need to put some stuff down, they got something they can put their stuff on nice and clean and dry. As we come along to the back, now this is the fun part. <laughs> What's up, man? So a lot of you guys haven't seen Nick or haven't met Nick. I wanna introduce you guys. Nick, Hi. say hello. Hello. You've seen, I mean, you guys have seen Nick. Nick's been on um, Mike's crew now for how long? About six months. Only six months? Yeah. Feels like a lot longer, God. But Nick here, Nick here's been training under Mike um, along with Mark. And what we've done is, um, Nick here has got an opportunity to kind of split off and Nick's going to be doing a split between landscaping and water features. He's been trained by the best for a long time now. And these guys are going to, you're going to start seeing them kicking butt on landscape projects. And you also see them on some of our smaller water features like the tadpole, frog hollow, mm -hmm. stack slate urns, all that fun stuff. Water bowls, mm -hmm. you guys can think up, we can build. So they already had the existing pool and screen enclosure but it's all been modified and been brought up. So these guys went ahead and did the pavers on the inside of the screen, pavers on the outside, and this whole awesome, amazing outdoor kitchen. So they had to redo the entire screen. They got two new doors and then check this out. So this, this is all one panel without support all the way to this point. You might, to appreciate this, you may have to actually be in there looking out because I'm sorry, you bought this property. You got this awesome view looking out at the water. You want to see it. You don't want to see a bunch of these support posts. So this is really cool. They do like an engineered um, support beam here that allows you to do that span because typically you would have two more posts. You'd have a post right about here and a post right about here. And that's just kind of more distracting to the eye. So this is kind of an upgrade and it looks awesome just being able to look out. Plus, this is the hot, my opinion, I know that kitchen, that kitchen budgets a lot more, but this is, this is my favorite part, right? Everybody has a favorite part of what they do in the project. This right here are where a lot of stories can be told right around this outdoor fire pit. So once they get this finished with a glass, I'm guessing, that goes in here, the Adirondacks to go around it, this is gonna be the hangout spot. Is this gonna be running this weekend? It's a perfect weekend. It should be running this weekend, right? <laughs> some beers around this. You guys can see how this really kind of comes together. I love how they bring in some of that earthy look with the pergola, um, these pavers. And then we did everything we possibly could with kind of giving it that modern look. Back here, this is gonna be a sea of color. So you kind of see, um, more of that yellow, orange, blue, and then the foxtails. So this is gonna be a really cool look with a fluffy foxtail. And then you got that yellow, orangey color and blue wrapping the entire thing. So not just from here, it's all low profile, but not just from here, but even out, anybody that's passing by with the boat looking back is gonna have, it's like curb appeal. It's like your, your backyard is your front yard in a sense. Um, eventually these maple trees will grow and provide nice little shade. So they can also use this even in the hot summers. So that's a wrap. We got Nick and Mark, they're finishing up. They're just gonna finish up swapping out some mulch, doing some patch in. Uh, the homeowner himself is over there working on his drainage system. So um, yeah, that's a wrap on this one, guys. Hit us up if you have any more questions. We'd love if you guys find this to be helpful on some of this. We can even just do tutorials if you guys think it's helpful for doing like more of a modern twist. What kind of plants would you use? Scenarios. The best thing, honestly, if you're a follower of ours, because this is gonna be a YouTube video, is to go ahead and just come to our garden center. We're off a beach in Kernan. But if you're not in Jacksonville, Florida, then definitely hit us up on, on YouTube and um, we'll try to help you any way we can. John behind the camera, he's the one always answering those comments. And Kevin. All right, guys, have a good one. See ya.